What is going on apes? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going over breaking news revolving around AMC that is sending AMC up about 3% as we do currently speak. But we are also going to be going over the technical analysis, give you guys an intraday update on that, as well as the Ortex data and the Stonk O tracker data and a couple other things revolving around the overall market. So let's not waste any time getting into this video. Drop that like on the video as well as consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know know down below in the comment section if you think this is big news for amc if you don't really care about this news obviously investors tend to think it's good news since we're up about three percent but likely to continue on this rally throughout the rest of today and first thing i do want to point out for all apes out there that are you know questioning this rally since obviously we did pull back from almost 53 dollars down to about $43. And what I want to point out is this level right here at about $42.50 is the main level really to be watching for to stay in this bullish trajectory. And I mean, we have been, we didn't go, go down there, but uh, really, if you just pull this out and take a look at the overall trend, still very, very bullish. Nobody can argue that. This is a slight pullback on the road to obviously going to massive highs. So we're going to see these pullbacks. It's going to happen, but it's really just consolidation. So let's talk about this breaking news because I think this is huge. I think it opens up the horizon for a lot of great things with AMC. Ultimately shows that the the people running the business are doing everything they can and executing beyond anyone's expectation. So it says AMC Entertainment boss Adam Aaron said the theater chain would also accept Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin along Bitcoin with ticket purchases and cryptocurrencies gain acceptance among mainstream investors and companies. In quotes, cryptocurrency enthusiasts, you likely know that AMC Theaters has announced we will accept Bitcoin for online ticket and concession payments by year end 2021. I can also confirm today that when we do so, we also expect that we will accept Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, at Aaron said in a tweet on Wednesday. So this is definitely big news in my opinion. Uh, r really, there's going to be a lot of hype around this, right? Cryptocurrency, a lot of anything that revolves around crypto tends to get a lot of hype over time but also to accept ethereum litecoin and bitcoin cash is pretty big rather than just bitcoin and screw really litecoin and bitcoin cash ethereum is what i'm really geeked about because that is the second largest crypto that is what a majority of people think is going to do even better than bitcoin so it wouldn't surprise me if people actually do pay for their tickets in ethereum so and obviously, at that point, uh, AMC will be collecting Ethereum if they decide to sit on it, let it grow in value, whatever they do, that's on the, that's on them. They probably will do something like that. So that'll just be further further revenue if they do that. Now, let's talk about the Ortex data. We are seeing some very interesting things going on. We're seeing the shared utilization that is plummeting at about 86.93% seven days ago at 91%. 0.73% down 5.23% over the past seven days. And what this is telling us is that there's more shares available to be sold short. So that could explain why AMC did go through this drop. More brokers are actually will willing to lend their shares short to other people, but you are not seeing the free flow on loan that is actually going up yet. There can be a delay in this data. It is only coming in at 20.6%, seven days ago at 23.14%. So I do think we've seen about one to 2% of the float that was sold short over this last drop. And we just quite simply, quite honestly, didn't have enough buyers coming in to buy all of those shares that were being sold short. So we're looking at 18.83% short interest. I do expect that to go back up to about 20% given that all these factors we are looking at, the share utilization as well as the free flow on loan. And keep in mind, if you guys don't know, free flow on loan are shares that are held in hedge funds accounts without them actually being sold short yet. So when this goes down from a higher number, that typically means that those shares weren't returned to the share utilization. They were usually sold short. That is what we have seen over history. Things can change, but that is just what we have seen. 
also are looking at 96.29 million shares that are sold short. That is a very large amount. Nothing has changed really with the overall bullishness of the Ortex data. Just some interesting things with the share utilization and the free flow on loan. So that is really what you guys need to know from that. Uh, like I said, still looking very, very bullish. And as far as a potential gamma squeeze, yes, we're still looking at the potential for a gamma squeeze. Even on Friday, we're seeing a lot of open interest at the $50 strike. That could send us a lot higher if we do have a bullish day tomorrow. If we do go to about $50, you're going to see a lot of hedging. But still, we're still looking at about $132,000 for open interest or it in the money calls, I should say that do expire tomorrow as well as almost 400,000 out of the money calls that expire tomorrow. And I think you've really seen a short attack. Obviously the hedge funds inst institutions, mark makers, they don't want to see this gamma squeeze. They know what we know, right? They know more than what we know. So they know there was a huge chance for a gamma squeeze. They want to knock it out early into the week, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when they want to knock uh, the whole gamma squeeze potential out and that is exactly what they did do so we are looking at the 48 dollars strike twelve thousand for for open interest at the 49 dollars strike seven thousand for open interest and at the 50 dollars strike you're looking at about thirty seven thousand for open interest that would control about 3.7 million shares that would have to be bought so it it does look likely in my opinion it's only two dollars away that would be what a five percent move tomorrow so it does look very likely to me uh, but I don't know about a continued gamma squeeze taking AMC to 55 or 60, 65 or $70 where we do have a lot of open interest. I am not sure if that will happen. But what I want you guys to understand is this is a time game. The longer this actually does take, the more bullish the AMC mother of all short squeezes gets. We know that the short interest has continuously went up. We know that apes are continuously buying into the stock. We know there's a lot of options activity, probably from people that are not invested in AMC. So when AMC does start to skyrocket and go crazy, you're going to see a lot of FOMO buyers, day traders, and even hedge funds and institutions that start to buy into AMC that sends this much higher. But we are also not seeing really the markets go down enough to cause some of these shorts to actually need to cover on their positions. As we have talked about, Many, many times, guys, this is not something new. I'm beating a dead horse here. But when the market goes through a crash or correction, that is the one thing we have not seen since the AMC movement has started. We have not seen a 5% correction in the S&P 500 in the last 18 months, ever since about November. So we are not really uh, getting to the levels where the hedge funds and institutions portfolio values go down while their, their margin maintenance levels are going up. And as we do know, Citadel, the big guys with billions and billions of dollars of capital, Citadel don't care if AMC is $1,000, $5,000, $10,000. They don't have to cover. They won't be forced to cover. We'll never be forced to cover with that much money sitting on the sidelines. But if their portfolio dropped to $200 billion, $100 billion, they would be forced to cover. It's as simple as that. So we are not seeing anything too crazy going on right now. I believe Biden is supposed to be speaking here in the next hour so i believe at 145 eastern time i uh, may be wrong on that but that could have an impact on the markets overall so watch out for that watch out for amc's continue rally rally over 50 dollars tomorrow but just know this is a time game and we are here we are in there like swimwear until this thing does squeeze so that is really all you guys need to know from the intraday update. Just watch out for the $50 level, like I've already said, as well as just watch to see what does happen with this bullish activity. Still, the trend here, very, very bullish. Once we do break above 50 and see this trend really continue, see this trend line push up to, let's say, $55, and you're really uh, approaching that $55 level and get slight pullbacks along the way. But once you break out really above that, you're you're really far from uh $50 or ending this bullish rally in my so that is all you guys really know for this intraday update drop that like on the video as well as consider subscribing to the channel also if you guys uh, don't know about the gofundme if you guys want to support it and donate or just say a prayer do go do do greatly appreciate it you know it's it's even hard to talk about when i come to this topic but yeah she was in a car crash no drinking anything was involved and people thought i was lying so i did have them update the picture uh, just so you guys can clearly see that is Madison, same person I've showed you guys, and that is the current situation. 
uh, doing doing a little bit better, but still, it's going to be months and months. Only a fifteen hundred dollar goal, nine hundred forty three dollars raised out of that, and most of it did come from you guys. So big, big thank you. Uh, she's going to be very thankful. Everybody is pretty blown away about that. So. That is that, and uh, like the video, subscribe, I already said that stuff. If you guys do, check out the links, link down below in the description for totally free stock with Public and Weeble, but also there is a link for the buy and sell alerts. We make day trades, swing trades, and long-term investments with stock options in crypto, and we keep that very inexpensive, so anybody is able to join. I send out alerts every time I make a trade in real time, so you guys definitely want to be part of that. We have been killing it. So that is all for this update. I will see you guys in the next video.